So first of all, y'all, five days ago, only five days, Krishan Rock gave birth to Krishan Rock Jr. Okay? We watched it on her cell phone. She was on the phone, on live, the whole time she was giving birth. I'm going to have to say I was, it was very emotional to watch. She was happy. She was excited. Um, you know, she was really excited and happy about having her baby, you know, and while she's in the hospital having her baby, Blueface is somewhere doing a fucking beanie weenie with Stewie. Okay. Then his mama also online talking about Creshawn and Blueface are related. Like, it's just, it's, it's constant shit. It's constant shit over and over and over again. And I'm so tired of talking about it. I'm so tired of seeing them. I really want y'all to put this shit on Zeus and stop talking to us about it. I don't like watching the way he talks to her. I don't like watching the way his mom talks to her. I don't like watching the way him and the Stewie bitch act as if somebody cares about their music or their music videos or whatever they have going on. I don't like the fact that he has his children on Instagram live all the time and has, you know, a room full of people on Instagram watching his kids as he goes and does whatever the fuck he wants to do. I don't feel like it's healthy. I feel like it's degeneracy. I feel like it is regressed bottom of the barrel behavior. And even though Krishan acts like a crackhead, her damn self, I still feel like she just had a baby. She's hormonal. She's emotional. And she gave childbirth, which is an experience within itself. And she can't put her phone down for five fucking minutes because she's addicted to the attention of being on social media. And then this square head ass nigga who has nothing else to do but obsess about her and act as if he doesn't care about her, continues to gaslight her and say antagonistic things to her over social media. And I'm I'm just kind of over it at this point. And I wish that I could block any stories about them without having to unfollow the blogs because I have to follow the blogs because I have to know what's going on. But I really wish that I would not have to see what is going on with them because I feel like it's abuse. And I feel like whenever I'm subjected to it, I'm triggered. And it's not as if I'm going looking for it. I can't open my Instagram sometimes without some headline telling us about the way this man is online antagonizing a woman that just had a baby. Then she's online holding the brand new baby like it's a fake fucking baby like she oh like you know yeah it is 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 like bitch please stop screaming and crying around that baby like that baby is not picking up on your toxic ass energy put the baby in a bassinet and do your live in another room or something and if you if you really want to be a good parent turn your phone off Worry about your baby. Stop worrying about Blueface. Stop worrying about being on live. Stop worrying about Instagram. Stop worrying about online validation. Stop worrying about what anybody has to say about you. Delete the app off your fucking phone and go calm your nerves so you can give that baby at least the calm that it deserves in the first week of its life. You ask for Blueface not to be there. Because he is disruptive and chaotic and he would not have been healthy for the situation. Totally understandable. But also follow through by not engaging with him. Stop engaging with him. Let it the fuck go. Let him go. Stop talking about and to him. Cut him off. You refuse to do this and you're only stressing yourself and your baby out 
by continuing to allow him access to your mental when all you have to do is put the fucking phone down. I want to put your phone down. Somebody call Erica. I want to want, want put your phone down. Put your fucking phone away. I know it's so hard for y'all generation to just go and live your life and stop always having to post. I get it. I understand. It's the time we live in. But there is a time and a space when you need to put the fucking phone down and forget where it is. And the time and space when you need to put the phone down and forget where it is, is when you have a brand new baby to see after. And please don't, don't misunderstand me. I was never looking for Creshawn to be a good parent, just like I'm not looking for Blueface to be a good parent. I'm not. I'm looking for two traumatized, fucked up human beings to traumatize and fuck up their kids like everybody else. It's just that in 2023, we got to watch the shit on Instagram every day. That's the only difference. But at the end of the day, we don't need to see this on a large scale. I find it really triggering, problematic, and abusive to the public for us to keep having to see these displays. Him talking about getting custody of a baby. Don't you have a murder charge you need to contend with? Didn't they just call CPS down to your house because you got strippers dancing on your fucking toddler asking this, this little boy if his mother is cheating on you? as if you're faithful, loyal, or respectful in any manner. To be honest with you guys, if he were to be deleted off the internet, I would be so happy. You heard me, you heard me say off the internet. Meaning no, like no more Instagram. Block him. Why do we have to watch him abuse this girl on the internet? Because that's what it is, y'all. It's watching somebody abuse someone via fucking Instagram and blog posts. He could text her this shit, but instead he's tweeting it to the public and the blogs are picking it up and sharing it with us every second of every day. And it's literally one of the most degenerate brainwashing tactics I've ever seen. So in 10 to 15 years, if you're expecting these kids to be better, they won't be because the blogs cared more about getting their clicks than the fact that this is some shit that we don't need to have on such large consumption rates. You want to report on Krishan and Blueface? Can we get a once a week breakdown of what all went down? Why do we have to go through this every five minutes on every fucking blog? It's just really exhausting. And I feel like people should have to subscribe to watch this. I don't subscribe to Zeus. So I don't want to see what's going on over there. Why can't I be a follower of the neighborhood talk or, or a baller alert or on site for God's sakes? Why can't I be a watcher or a follower of you guys content without you bombarding me with a triggering, abusive, toxic, hood ass relationship that is Creshawn and Blueface? Please let the crackheads be where they are. Stop bringing them to us. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Her just having that baby and him being online with the bullshit. Please stop. She going to tweet, look, I said what I said. I proved why I'm finna just not let you come around me at all or the kid. You are too spiteful. Worry about another nigga. But Krishan Jr. is still your son. Don't never let another nigga stop you from being a dad because your ego hurt. Grow the fuck up. Girl, who you talking to? I know you're not talking to Blueface. I know you're not talking to him because he don't understand none of this shit you're talking about. You are asking somebody who is incapable to be a father. Why do you want him to be a father to your child? He's not a good father to his other kids. He told her, don't be bitter and make things up to fit your narrative. Just be at peace with the baby. Stop going live for a bit. Put your phone down and just enjoy. I think this is funny coming from him since we know he's the one that's also constantly tweeting all the time. And another thing, why are you messaging on social media instead of texting her this? You don't really mean this. You're doing shit for clout. She's doing shit for validation. You're doing shit for clout. We drug test that baby. He could be mine tonight. I'm really being nice because I want you to be better. Everyone seems to think the baby making you better. But all I see is you running with clout. 
tighten up and focus on your son coming from the person that has not even been in the same vicinity of his child since the child has been born you don't give a fuck about that baby you crackhead ass nigga you don't care about that baby but using y'all these tactics threatening her off rip with taking her baby from her that shit is disgusting it's disgusting i don't give a fuck it's not cool it's not okay I don't want to continue to see it. I don't know what's going to need to happen. But something needs to happen. Being the bitter baby mother. Way. It's him being the baby mother. Like the bitter baby mom. Like. And then keep saying, oh, I'm going to take. Bitch, hold his baby head. That's you have no, you have no say so. Don't ever, bro, bro. Nobody taking my kid from, bro. Nobody taking my baby from me, y'all. No. If you think that baby can't feel your energy right now, you are sadly mistaken. Nobody taking my baby from me, y'all. You know how much shit I took when I was pregnant with him? Yeah, we know. Y'all would not let us out the fucking group chat. Nobody taking my baby, yo. So, go in over there and take that shit. You hear me? Like, like no. We where, where are the friends? Where are the family members? Where's the therapist? She needs to be able to talk to somebody that's not he us. falls short because you don't control my funds no more. I I left what you took. It's me being the what you took. Straight up. You acting like I can't get that shit back. I can get all that shit back if I wanted to. I don't want that shit. You be making all that money. You can keep that money. I'm going to make happy money. Me and Junior. Fuck it. Damn, I can be saying this. Yeah, you can't come see your mom. You can't you can't come see your son because you out doing what you're doing. I didn't say that. You don't want to come see your son because I'm out doing what I'm doing. Really? Really? I know the baby feel that he don't cry unless I cry. That's, like, thank you. And then he's a little sore, so that's the real reason why he's crying. It's okay. It's okay. Child, the, the, the fact that that baby has only seen the daddy by looking at her neck is insane. Like, I swear to God, I'm not keeping him from his kid. I'm not keeping him from his To me, this is how you know that the manipulation is working. Because she actually feels the need to defend herself against him. Molly. <laughs> I'm not keeping him from his kid. I'm not. I didn't purposely go to Baltimore. We was two hours away from each other, young. You was mad because I was ready to go on that show. And then the possibility of niggas being there, niggas was going to show mad love to rock. You was mad. Then you mad about me eating somebody food at their restaurant. Why you make that? Junior have nothing to do with none of this. He doesn't care about the child. He's never going to care about the child. He doesn't care about anybody but himself. And he doesn't even really care about himself. He hates himself. Therefore, he internalizes and projects. Everything is a reflection of how he cannot stand himself. And you sitting up there because you young and, and you don't. You know what I'm saying? You young and you don't understand what you're doing right now. She don't understand. She wasn't raised right. None of that shit. This is so sad to me because she really don't know any better. And he's just trying to hurt her out of jealousy, out of being upset that she's more of the star than he is. We know this. But he don't care about that baby. He don't care about you. He just wanted to control you. He don't care about the Stewie bitch. He uses her to hurt you. He just don't want to be alone. He think he a pimp. So he needs y'all women 
to help him make money. He's not relevant by himself. His music is not good. He's not likable. He's not professional. Nobody wants to really fuck with him or work with him. He does not get respect. And the fact that the big wigs in the entertainment industry would invite Creshawn out and not him should let y'all know how people really feel about this nigga. So the more she begged for him to be there for her and this baby, the more she is giving him the opportunity to hurt and sabotage her. And she don't even see it. I'm I'm tired, y'all. Let's let's move on from this story because I'm tired of them. <laughs> I am exhausted and I've had it up the fucking here. Get this, get this shit out of my facial. Okay? Y'all, let's take a little second. Okay, y'all. 